I'm going to read Animal Firefighters. Moose is very excited. He's going to be a firefighter. He's got a lot to learn. And he won't be allowed to drive the fire engine till he's got experience. In basic training, firefighters learn how to use all sorts of special equipment. They learn that fire extinguishers must never be pointed at other people and that the hose often has a mind of its own. Firefighters also learn to use common sense. Common sense is useful when you're rescuing people. I'm upside down, Moose. Apparently, the safety net is for catching people, not for bouncing on. After training, each firefighter joins a team called a watch. This is Blue Watch. They're going to work the night shift. Oh, you can't be a firefighter if you're too slow, too silly, too prickly or too fiery. Moose joins Red Watch. They will work the day shift. They are all obviously very brave and they are all ready for anything. They have 24 boots between them. Oh, emergency rescue. Firefighter Owl sits in the control room. She tells them when a shout has come in. That means they have to rush off and rescue someone. Sliding down a pole is quicker than running downstairs, especially when you're asleep. Moose learns to get ready in double quick time. <gasps> Firefighters have to wear a lot of personal protective equipment. They have to wear oxygen tanks, gloves, goggles, a helmet and boots. Personal protective equipment is very heavy. Nino, Nino. <gasps> in just two minutes, the firefighters are ready to go. Moose still isn't allowed to drive the fire engine. So he just shouts, Nino, 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 as they drive along. This isn't strictly necessary, but it's fun. Firefighters don't just tackle fires. Here, a bush baby has got stuck on a tall giraffe. The ostrich is trapped in a drain. Dash hounds sometimes get stuck up drain pipes and they often have to be, have to pull a pig out of a pothole. Back at the fire station, the firefighters can relax for a little while in the mess room. Moose is pretty handy at snooker. It's important for firefighters to keep fit at all times. Firefighters take turns to do the cooking. Today, it's firefighter dog's turn. He tends to just open a tin of something. <gasps> Luckily, there isn't time to eat it. The alarm goes and it's action stations. They're off to the rescue again. For this rescue, the firefighters need their breathing apparatus. Some skunks have let off a really stinky smell next to some rabbits. The rabbits have fainted, but they will be fine after hospital treatment. So will firefighter Koala, who wasn't quite quick enough with his gas mask. The rabbits are packed safely off to the hospital, but there's no time to relax. Another shout has come in, and this time it's an actual fire. Station officer Puffin quickly sizes up the situation. It was Grandpa Toy Tortoise's 249th birthday. That's a lot of candles to have on a cake. And they set fire to the decorations. The firefighters quickly rescue the tortoise family. But what about the 21 guinea pigs on the top floor? They are too scared to jump and it'll take ages to rescue them one by one. Then Moose has a bright idea. While the rest of the watch tackle the fire, Moose bravely climbs the ladder. 
and persuades every single guinea pig to climb on his antlers. What a hero! Everyone agrees that Moose has demonstrated bravery and quick thinking. Station Officer Puffin awards him a medal and, and at long last, <gasps> he allowed to drive the fire engine. Congratulations, Firefighter Moose. Excellent work. I hope you enjoyed that story, Explorers. Bye.